There's a great quote from Professor Martin Andrew from CU Boulder saying, sporting wide, flattened heads known as cephalofoils with eyeballs bulging at each end. Hammerhead sharks are among the most recognizable fish in the world. The bizarre creatures range in the length from about 3 feet to 18 feet and cruise warm waters around the world. Here is the table of contents. Today I'll be going through four topics, past evolution, present human activity, future, and reasons to protect the species. Let's go over a few facts about the great hammerhead sharks first. First, they are known for their size. They can grow up to 3.9 meters to 6.1 meters, or 3 feet to more than 20 feet. Secondly, the classes and family the great hammer shark, hammerhead shark is part of. The scientific name is the Sphyrna mocrin, phylum Chordata, family Sphyrinae, order Carcachiniformes, and kingdom Animalia. And their current state is critically endangered. The past. How if how it evolved from its ancestors. I would first like to explain the timeline for sharks and when sh hammerhead sharks started popping up in history. There are four significant eras, the Precambrian Superium, the beginning of Earth, Paleozoic Era, when life started to form, Mesozoic Era, when all present shark families as well as skates and rays originally emerged during this period, the Cenozoic Era, where a lot of the mother sh modern sharks now were at the top of the food chain, and when the hammerhead sharks were evolved. Hammerhead sharks are said to have evolved from little leaf-shaped fish with no eyes, fins, and bones. These animals evolved into two major groups of fish that exist today. The two kinds of fish are bony fish and cartilaginous fish, including sharks and rays. Hammerhead sharks were the last to evolve in the shark family during the Cenozoic period. Around 20 million years ago, the ancestors of today's hammerhead sharks were most likely appeared in Earth's oceans, evolving into a broad range of these fish that currently swim in the ocean. The ancestors of all existing sharks were humongous, but they became smaller over time. Moreover, the findings show that once the cephalofoil evolved, it diverged into various lineages in response to diverse selective species. The Sphyridae family, hammerhead family, share a common ancestor, which is a carcahenus. It was predicted that the hammerhead sharks with bigger cephalophiles were closer to their ancestors. Thus, the most recent species of hammerhead sharks are the taburo, bonnet heads, known as the shovels. I'll be explaining more of these points in detail in the next few slides. Hammerhead sharks and their anatomical evolution. After the hammerhead shark evolved, it went in diverse ways, with some species becoming larger and others smaller, and fishes unique, and the fishes unique hammer-like head shifting in size and shape. The scientific sequence the shark's DNA and created a phylogenetic tree that reveals how all species are connected. The sharks may have begun to concentrate more on their more on their energy reproductive functions rather than growth as they got smaller. That is not the only reason that the hammerhead sharks got smaller. In fact, there is some fossil evidence that also supports this claim. Over 3,000 species have been identified in the fossil record. Many more, though, are likely to have existed, but vanished without a trace. The skeleton of a shark rots away because it is formed of cartilage rather than bones. As a result, their teeth, skin denticles, and fin spines are frequently the only things left behind. However, a single tooth can reveal a lot. Scientists can deduce what the shark ate and perhaps identify the species it belongs to based on this information. Professor Twitchett from CNN says, Tooth shapes reveal important details about the shark's diet and environment. So by studying these fossils, we are able to show how these important marine predators responded to past episodes of environmental change. The teeth from the sharks determine how they evolved. Their fossil teeth are much smaller than shark teeth today, indicating that sharks shrunk in size and changed their diet during a massive extinction 66 million years ago. Many shark species are threatened with extinction now, despite having survived five catastrophic extinctions. Now I'll be talking about the evolution of cephalofoils. The outward extension of the head of a hammerhead shark are known as the cephalofoils. So in easier context, the hammer. The diagram above helps us identify the numerous sorts of hammerhead shark species and distinguish which ones came earlier. It also helps in 
examining how the hammerhead sharks have changed throughout time. The phylogenic relationship of hammerhead sharks indicates that the species with the most extreme lateral expansion of the cephalophoil is the most basal. However, scientists once thought that the hammerhead sharks grew their cephalophoils over time, but it was different. It turned out to be a mutation from, a long, from long ago. Now the cephalophoil grew smaller to fit with surroundings, natural selections. However, hammerhead sharks with larger cephalophoils have a bigger advantage in hunting and vision. Now for present. I will be explaining direct and indirect human activities that, the, that have been contributing to the decline of great hammerheads. The first human activity is incidental fishing. Incidental catch fishing refers to a catch that was not intended to be caught, but kept nevertheless. 90% of hammerhead sharks die after being caught in targeted or incidental fisheries, putting them on the verge of extinction. Number two, shark finning. Due to the threat of shark finning, hammerhead sharks have been killed for their fins for a dish. The dish is also known as shark fin soup. Shark fin soup is a traditional soup dish, dish served in parts of Southeast Asia and China. Thus, there is a high-end trade for shark fins. The act of removing shark fins and dumping the rest of the shark back into the ocean is known as shark finning. When sharks are thrown back into the ocean, they are usually still alive but without their fins. They sink to the bottom of the water due to the inability to swim and die of suffocation, blood loss, or being killed by other predators. Here is a summary and reasons why hammerhead sharks are declining in population. So fishing, commercial fishing, finning, climate, and fishing. This, this shows the declining population of hammerhead sharks over a span of 60 years. That is a huge drop. Future. I'll be speculating how the traits of hammerhead species would evolve further if they were to survive the impacts of previously mentioned human activities. I'll be talking about the disadvantage with great hammerhead sharks. Fins. Shark fin trademark. Cephalophores results in incidental fishing. Size caught in fishnets shrinks as a result of climate change. Now I'll be talking about the species of sharks that are evolving due to one of the human impacts, the pollet shark, is a species that is evolving due to climate change's warming waters. I chose this as an example because both ha great hammerhead and the pollet sharks are tropical fish. Moving on, researchers studied a pollet sharks which inhabit off of the coasts of Australia and New Guinea in collaboration with the New England Aquarium. They discovered that the warmer temperatures fastened the shark's growth, resulting in them hatching from eggs earlier and being born weak. Thus, these sharks are getting smaller. So here's a summary of the source. Climate change is causing the ocean to warm, putting new babies, newborn babies, and baby sharks at risk of being born smaller and without energy. They need to develop, they need to develop and mature. When the ocean's temperatures are higher, the shark eggs develop unbelievably quicker. Additionally, Rising ocean temperatures may pose a threat to future sharks, indicating, oh, including egg-laying and live-bearing species, because the shark will be born or hatch in conditions that they can barely withstand as temperatures increase. In conclusion, if hammerhead sharks are to survive human activities such as incidental fisheries and climate change, they will shrink in size. Although being born smaller may have an impact on the shark's health, there are no substantial negatives to hammerhead sharks becoming smaller. In fact, because hammerhead sharks are smaller, they are less likely to be caught in fisheries and incidental catches. Ultimately, hammerhead sharks are respons responding to fisheries and climate change. It is reasonable to predict that hammerhead sharks will eventually develop to become smaller, to fit with their surroundings. In addition, it is possible to think that the shark's body temperatures will rise to fit the surrounding temperature of the ocean. And last but not least, preservation and why we should protect this species. Reason number one, hammerhead sharks are crucial predators that help maintain the stability of ocean ecosystems. Whole ecosystems can collapse without these apex predators. Reason two, maintaining the health of coastal marine ecosystems. Reason three, they are unique and beautiful.
protecting what the IUCN should do. Sanctuaries and aquariums to help endangered animals by relocating them to secure locations where they are protected from poaching, habitat loss, mal- malnutrition and climate change. A good sanctuary prov- such aquarium provides an enriching environment in which the creatures are never sick and well cared of, cared for. Stop sh- stopping shark fin trade. More countries should create laws that prohibit the engagement in shark finning. Thank you. Here are my works cited for my research and for my pictures.